What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have just released this brand new Sabitza card and this card is going for 500k. 500k is absolutely outrageous but hey, I'm starting to look at this card and think to myself, it actually could be worth it a little bit because he looks like an outrageously good box-to-box -box midfielder. He's got 85 pace, 85 dribbling, 88 shooting, 86 passing, 78 defending with the 84 physicals. And if we are comparing this card to his level 30 storyline player card, we are looking at plus 3 to pace, plus 3 to shooting, plus 4 to passing, plus 3 to dribbling, plus 10 to defending, and a plus 3 to physicals as well. He's 5 foot 10, high high work create three star skill moves with a four star weak foot now there's two chem styles that i feel like it's so obvious you can use on this card shadow being one of them and anchor being the other i feel like the anchor chem style is going to be really really good obviously boosting that strength and aggression but for me personally i feel like that shadow chem style is going to help out a decent amount as well simply because he's a player that's not just going to be sitting back he's a player that's actually going to be going forward as well so he's going to need that pace to his game so giving him the shadow chem style obviously gives him 91 acceleration and 98 sprint speed his shooting ability looks absolutely incredible the only thing i wished for is if this guy had the finisher trait he has got a shooting trait it's the outside finisher trait but it's not you know the most overpowered trait let's say he has got 88 attacking positioning 86 finishing 93 shot power 93 long shots 87 volleys the 69 penalties as well we'll give we'll be giving it you know a fair decent amount of goes when it comes down to the long shots his passing ability looks really good as well 89 vision 80 crossing 84 freaky accuracy 89 short passing 85 long passing with the 81 curve his dribbling ability looks quite decent i would say i don't feel like it's going to be outrageously good but i feel like it's going to probably feel quite average you know so he has got 80 agility 85 balance 91 reactions 87 ball control 84 dribbling with the 85 composure now these are the stats i need to look at all right because i'm playing this guy as like a box to box midfielder so he needs to be good at defense no matter what and with the shadow chem style, it does really, really help out. So he goes from 77 interceptions to 87 interceptions. He's got 77 heading accuracy, 87 defensive awareness, which is insanely good, 90 standing tackling, and 86 slide tackling. So he should be putting in a very, very good tackle. Now the physical stats, 90 stamina, 82 strength, with the 83 aggression as well. Now he is obviously from the Bundesliga, so you are going to get some decent links around him. For me personally, I haven't got the greatest Bundesliga players in this game. So obviously, you know, me linking up with Mukieli and this guy right here, which I have no idea how to pronounce, is going to be a bit questionable. Mukieli not do much, but the other guy obviously is. But I've also got like Herrera, Joao Felix and Rio Ferdinand in this team. I will be playing Sabitza in a 4-4-2 in that centre mid position, but also in a 4-2-3-1 in that CDM position. And I feel like I might actually give him a go in the cam position in a 4-2-3-1 as well, just to see if we can get a few more long shots. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to do is see actually how he feels on the ball. So I'm going to go for that ball roll, give it another ball roll, left stick dribbling. Seems quite nice. It seems quite average, you know. It's nothing to really, really talk about. And he's actually going to get out strength by Timothy Kimmich off the ball there. Which is kind of understandable, to be fair. But yeah, left stick dribbling feels pretty decent. I kind of want to test out his R1 dribbling as well. R1 dribbling seems quite responsive as well. That's fine. That is perfectly good. They'll push into the open space. Maybe give it a quick one, two. Double way towards him. Well played. I'm going to go for an LBY all the way to the other side. Wow. That's a ball and a half. Can I get a goal out of this? Fatty got down the line. Well played. Give it to Felix. Felix going to go for that scoop turn. Try to get round the player and we are going to get the goal. What a pass, by the way, from Sabitza. Over to Sabitza. Nice little touch. Going to give it to Kappa right there. I've actually sent him on a run. So let's see. Can he get there first? He is going to get that first. And that's against Team Lee De Bruyne, by the way. He plays a beautiful pass, but Kappa is miss going to... Oh, wait. Hold up a second. Are we going to... Oh, my God. We got a goal with that. That is so, so jammy. It's ridiculous, but I'll take it. Sabitza, straight into the action. His transition speed, by the way, as you clearly can see right here, going left and right, seems very, very nice. He seems like one of those players that is going to get out to his opponent very quickly. Over to Sabitza. We're going to go for this one more time. Can I perfectly get... Oh, my God. Look how perfect that pass is. Maybe I can actually get a goal at this again. Towards the near... Po Let's not talk about it, okay? I was holding LT so he could go for a volley. So I'm not expecting me to, you know, kind of aim it towards the goal or anything like that. And it went for a manual header. Like, come on now. It's a bit, sir. Kind of wanted to press my opponent there, but I am going to go for that passing lane. And he is going to go for that interception. Nice dribbling. I'm telling you, his dribbling does not feel bad at all. Little ball roll, giving the through ball. Going to give it to Fatty. 
Going to go for that ball roll pass through the middle. Not the greatest touch, but let's see if we can get a fake shot down. Go for that finesse shot, and it is going to get blocked. Maybe you can go for it again. Hold up a second. Nice. Going to go for the finesse shot. Oh, my God. What a save from Neuer. That animation, you don't see that very often. Oh, just a bit, sir. Going to bring him forward. Go for that quick one, two. Maybe give it back to him. Well played. Fatty. Back to Sabitza. Fatty make that run down the line. Play that ball. His positioning, by the way, is really nice. Like, you can 100% see how he's positioned when going forward. He doesn't really like to go forward too much. But when you force him to, like that right there, obviously, he's going to go forward. But I'm trying to get him in that shooting opportunity, boys. I really just want to take that long shot with him. And I want it to hit the top net. Sabitza. Nice. Nice little block there. Give it back to him. Play that ball. Oh, referee. How is that not a foul? Nah, I'm going to come back. Wait, hold up a second. Nah, come on. How is that not a foul, though? I really don't understand. Herrera. Over to Zabitza. Give it to Robin. Give it back to him. Passing through the middle. Give him the ball there. That's well played. That's really well played. Double ball roll in. R1 dribbling through the middle. Nah, he's not that agile. I need to remember that he's not that agile to go through those little gaps like that. Fatty. Over to Zabitza. Give it to Felix. Give it back to Zabitza. Ball roll in. Nice turning, good shielding, but can't hold off team of the year Kimmich. That's annoying. That is very annoying because I feel like in that situation, the anchor chem style obviously would have came into play with giving him that little bit of extra strength so he can actually shield that guy off. Going to try to get that interception. Not going to get there. Let's see how fast he can get back into position. Gets back quite fast to be fair to him. Is he going to go back around? Ah, come on. I reckon he's going to try to pass to Ronaldo, Neymar. Which one of them? Which one of them? There you go. He's going to pass to Ronaldo. The touch going forward right there. Not the greatest, but it was a good interception. Let's see what we can. Come on. Where are you going to go next? Where are you going to go? There you go. We eventually come out of the ball. Through the middle? Yeah, I kind of read that a little bit. I kind of saw, you know, he was leaning towards it a bit too much. And I just like, why not? Let's get some bits of that cheeky interception right there. Oh, when dribbling. Nice. Give it back to him. Come on, I'm trying to create this angle. There you go. We're going to go for the finesse shot to Stegen. It's going to pull out another one to save. These are the certain angles that you need that finesse shot trait. The finesse shot trait is just going to make it go so far into the corner. And it's not going to give the goalkeeper an opportunity to actually save it. It's a bit to come and short. He is coming short. Flick it up. Keep going. Keep going. Flick there. Go for the volley. Oh, my God. Oh, really? You have high volleys as well. How the hell are you missing the whole target? Going to try a challenge for this real quick. Hopefully, I can actually come out with a ball. Yes, I can. Really nice tackle. Herrera on the ball. Give it to Zabitza right there. Oh, one dribbling. Now, nah, look at the guy. He actually sitting back. I'm going to go forward. There you go. Little. Oh, come on. No, the ball roll was very nice as well. I didn't expect the ball roll, and I definitely did not do the ball roll. But I will take it because it gave me like a little bit of a better angle. But it obviously took a little bit longer, so it can get AI blocked. Not through the middle. Come on. There you go. Really nice interception. Can I play this ball? I'm trying to play this ball. That's perfect. That is literally perfect. Take it calm. Go for that cross goal finish. That is literally spot on. A very aggressive interception, obviously going forward. And that perfect ball just to slide straight past the defender to Joao Felix. If you are thinking of playing Sabitza in that centre mid or CDM position, by the way, you don't actually have to sit back with him. Like, you can go straight into the tackle because he has got that pace to his game to actually go and press the opponents. But that's what you're going to realise. Neymar players like Neymar, players like Ronaldo are faster than him. So if he actually, if those kind of players manage to get in behind him, he is going to actually have a little bit of a problem trying to actually recover. Give it a free ball right there. I am playing him in that sentiment position right now. And you are going to actually notice that he is actually getting involved way, way more into the attack. And that's something you do actually want to see. Because you can obviously play him in a CDM position. Like, look at the runs he's making right there. You can play him in a CDM position. And he obviously, he will be very, very defensive. But you kind of want to get him a bit more involved with the attack. Because... If he gets into that shooting opportunity, especially inside the box, he has like a really nice chance of actually scoring. Nice tackle. Well played. Good follow for as well. Keep going. Keep going. He's going to get caught up, but he is going to get fouled at the end of the day. This guy, I'm telling you, he's even stopping me when I go for counterattacks. He's taking me out. Can I go for that quick one too? Send him on. That's kind of lucky, but I'll take it. Going to go for that fake shot. Keep going, boys. Keep going. No. But that's extremely lucky, by the way. Nice pass. No, come on, Furlan Mendy. That's AI, by the way. That's literally not my, uh, what's called, my opponent actually going for that slide tackle. That's just the AI going for that interception. That's ridiculous. Push it forward. Nice touch. That's a really good touch. Give him that through ball. Give it back to him. Play him that ball right there. 
Double weight across. Going to go for that finish. And for sure, well, Felix is actually going to miss it. Come on now. Sabitzer. Play that ball. Well played. Going to give it back to him. Nice. Going to go for that finesse shot. And we actually going to miss the target. I should have probably took an extra touch. But what I saw was the keeper out of position. I saw this guy literally bring out the keeper. So I thought to myself, surely Sabitzer can at least get this on target. So we can actually hit this long shot. But apparently he misses the whole goal. So it is time to review him. Two games played, zero goals, scored with a single assist as well. And the reason I am saying two games and not four games is simply because we matched the same guy twice and he was obviously relegating himself. And him leaving the game after after straight up pausing it just counts as a game for Sabitzer. So I'm not going to sit and say we played four games because we really didn't. Either way, do I believe this card is worth the 500k price tag EA have actually placed for this card? No. I feel like this is the same situation with Oxley chamberlain where he was a good card, but he was not worth 500k. Like 200k for this card is acceptable. 250k is acceptable. But 500k EA? 500k? No chance. Sorry, but no. There are obviously other Bundesliga sentiments that CDMs you can obviously use that are cheaper. For example, Zakaria. But with that Zakaria card, he's rode to the final card. I believe he's going for like 200 something K. But he's obviously not a box-to-box -box midfielder like Sabitzer, you know. He's more of a CDM that, you know, sits back, wait for the perfect tackle. Wait, wait, sorry, wait for the perfect moment to go in for a tackle and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't believe this card is worth 500 k boys. For this one, boys, miss it out. Please miss out. Do not spend 500k on this card. You definitely will regret it. I feel like EA are going to probably release another Bundesliga centre mid for the same price pretty much. And he's going to be so much better. So miss out on this one. Now pace wise. I will give his pace. I would honestly say... 8.7 out of 10, I felt like that's reasonable because I felt like he was actually really fast on the ball and I loved his transition speed as well. So the pace, I really can't go low on it. Shooting ability, really disappointed. Like really disappointed. I was sitting there giving, giving him long shot after long shot. They obviously keep us pulling up wonder saves. It is what it is. But if you have the opportunity to score a long shot, with pretty much no keeper in goal, that's when it come, becomes a little bit questionable because he doesn't even get it on target. And I'm sitting there like, come on now. Come on, Sabitzer. You need to be getting it on target at least. So for shooting ability, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to give it like an 8.2 out of 10. Really, really disappointed. And I do not believe he has 93 long shots. No chance. Passing ability. I felt like his passing was the best thing about him. I was so confident in his passing ability. Like left foot, right foot, it worked. Over top through balls, it worked. RBAs, it worked. So for passing, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like a 9.2 out of 10. Really impressive. Dribbling ability, as I said, average. Average at his best, boys. It's so, so like awkward time to time where he turns at like a weird angle and then he leaves the ball behind. And yeah, you could obviously argue, oh, you might have, might have had, you know, bad gameplay and stuff like that. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't have bad gameplay. I had quite average gameplay to slash good gameplay. And if he feels like that in this gameplay, imagine how he would feel in bad gameplay. It would be absolutely outrageous. So for dribbling, I'm going to honestly give him like a 7.5, 7.6 out of 10. Not the greatest, not the greatest at all. Defending ability. I must admit, I actually did like his defending. I, I just felt like he missed out on a few too many interceptions. Like if he was a player that was like, I don't know, six foot, six foot one he would have grabbed so many interceptions it would have been crazy but because he's not the tallest of players in that center mid CDM role he did miss out on a few interceptions because he wasn't in the passing lane but I loved his defensive awareness I loved his standing tackling as well as soon as he put in a tackle I knew for a fact I was going to come at a ball come out with the ball the majority of the time so for defending I am actually going to give him I would honestly say like an 8.5 to an 8.6 out of 10 physicals I didn't actually apply an anchor chem style. And the reason I didn't apply an anchor chem style on this card is because I felt like the pace was just so much more useful. Like his strength and aggression was not bad. It really was not bad. Do I feel like you need to apply an anchor chem style on this card? No. You can keep it at a shadow and he would still be top, top quality when it comes down to the strength and aggression. I saw him fight for the ball. I saw him use his strength time to time. There was some occasions where Team of the Year Kimmich that we was playing obviously got round him a bit too easy. But then... It's team of the year Kimmich at, Kimmich at the end of the day. You know, he's going to do that to a lot of players. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a an 8.2 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, 
I'm going to give him like an 8.4 to an 8.5 out of 10. I feel like that's reasonable. I feel like that's not, you know, over the top too much. As I said, he's a good card. He really, really is. He's just not an outrageously good card for the price he is going for. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.